Hello, this is a video for the newest visage that has been unlocked on No Man's Sky that you can buy with your Quicksilver. This is Hesperus, which many people have called the Owl Face. I kind of kind of like to call it the Owl Bear. I have been watching too much Critical Role recently, I must admit. So I know this one was one that lots of people were eagerly awaiting for, so I'm putting up this video as soon as I can. However, for mysterious reasons, the PS4 Visage uh, Quicksilver research is now a day or two behind Xbox One or Xbox One and PC, so that's why this is as late as it seems. As always, to do these, you need to be a traveler, um, and I don't have all the heads, and so I think if you have all of them, you've had a lot more numbers over here, you know, 15, 16, 17, so this is 11 for me. So, here we go. He's got, she's got some nice goggles on, and because of the goggles, changing the eyes doesn't do much. I don't think, which I think is also going to uh, make er, make it so the secondary color doesn't matter very often. The secondary color usually controls the color of the eyes on these visages and maybe one or two other things. And so I think that's not going to matter. So overall, uh, the primary color is going to be, you know, the, the color of the main head. And here, if we go to a different accent color, I'm not sure what that's doing. Is that changing the inside color of the ears? Is it changing the color of the goggles? No. I, something is changing around the eyes, but I think whatever is changing with this color is being covered by the goggles. So that's with marking zero. Let's try with markings one. Oh, that gives us striped pl plumage. Interesting. So the primary color changes the color of the stripe on the plumage. The secondary color, again, I don't think will do anything. And the accent color changes the, the color of the base feather and not the stripe. And if we go to markings 2, that takes away the stripe on the plumage. And it looks like the under skin yeah, the, the face underneath the feathers and like the ears are covered by the primary color. The secondary color again isn't doing anything and then the accent color changes the color of, oh that doesn't show us anything useful, the color of the feathers. And since eyes don't do anything, I think that's it on this face. There isn't a lot to change here. It's kind of fuzzy, it's kind of fun. But I, pr I prefer the faces that have more options, personally. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by something. So let's go look at Hesperus as they are just standing out here and see what Hello Games has them set as. Okay, Hesperus is in a, a white and black and gold and blue uh, Viking setup. And their feathers seem to be white and gray. Except weirdly, let me go back over here. Here we can see their eyes, but I couldn't on the appearance modifier. So let me go back to the appearance modifier, change the eyes, and see if that does anything. And I'm still set as old uh, global head over here. Okay, so let's give it a markings thing. Let's give us eyes, the bug eyes. And let's make our eyes red. And save this. And then change our point of view so we can look at our own eyes and see what we've got. Ah. Look at that. You can see the eyes. Oh, interesting. Well, I think I might actually report that as a bug to Hello Games, that you can't see what the eyes are doing in the appearance modifier. However, um, the appearance modifier always has, uh, or almost always has, the second color option. The secondary color almost always does the color of the eyes. 
So I guess it's just the glare that makes it so you can't see what's going on there. But that's a good thing to know. Uh, secondary color does take effect. Uh, the type of eye that you choose is uh, accepted by the appearance modifier. You just can't see it while you're in here. <laughs> All right. That's good news. Alrighty, so that is the Hesperus Visage. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that would be great. If not, that's totally cool. So thank you very much for your time and have a great day.